Hi there. Today we're going to talk about Crash Free 3 features on our SUS board. After this demonstration, you'll find out how easy our user can recover our crashed BIOS. Okay, let's get started. Now, um, I'm trying to crash this BIOS um, on purpose just for demonstration. I'm going to erase the BIOS on this board and I'm going to shut down in the middle of erasing this BIOS. So this BIOS should crash after I shut down the computer. I just shut down the computer. Now uh, let me turn it back on. Now you'll see, okay, the post screen is gone. gone. So now uh, you must recover the BIOS in order to continue to use this board. That means your BIOS has been crashed and you're not able to you know, uh, use your board in, until you have recovery your BIOS. I'm going to plug in my USB drive just now to find out what um, it's the BIOS name that I have to recover it. It shows p5qprot.rom. So that's the BIOS name I have to put into my thumb drive. Let's go to the website and download the backup BIOS. I'm here on the website for this model. I'm going to click a global download and let's get started to download this BIOS. And uh, once we get downloaded this BIOS, notice that the name of this BIOS is different than the BIOS required to recover on the board. So I'm going to rename the BIOS to what you required to re rename it to. So 02P5Q and PROT dot ROM. So I'm going to erase that one. Okay, so I have renamed to the recovery BIOS name and go to my down drive and just put the BIOS inside of my down drive, outside the folder. Paste it. Okay. Let's plug in my USB drive. I just got the BIOS in there. Let's start out the computer again. Check the USB device right now. Okay, found it. Reading file p5qprotrom that I have just downloaded and renamed it. It says completed. Now the crash free BIOS. Utility will start erasing, you know, the bad BIOS, and start programming the good BIOS that I just download. So we're putting the uh, new BIOS into the crash BIOS. Now it's time to turn off your computer and restart. You should be able to um, see the post screen after this. There you go. The crash of BIOS has been recovered and it's posted.